So we originally developed our LIGO battery to solve a really specific problem that affects the e-bike industry, and that's the shipping and logistics of battery packs. Any lithium battery over 100 watt hours is treated as class nine dangerous goods. That means there's extra handling and shipping precautions. They can't get shipped with a normal shipping company, and it makes it nearly impossible for customers to ship batteries back to the company that they got it from for service or repair. And it also makes it impossible for them to bring their batteries with them on an airplane if they're ever traveling with their e-bike. So we solved this problem by designing a module that was just under 100 watt hours, but could be easily stacked together in parallel to build up one large battery that you put on your bike. So this allows anyone to bring a number of LIGO batteries in their check baggage on an airplane, and then stack them together and have a five or 600 watt hour e-bike battery on their finished pack. And it allows the manufacturers and vendors of e-bike conversion kits to include batteries with the kit and have it shipped without the class nine dangerous goods classification. So these batteries have proven to be extremely popular because they solve this well-known point in the industry. And in fact, we've had an impossible time keeping up with the demand of the LIGO battery since we introduced this product. Now, part of that problem is that our manufacturing process is very labor intensive and mold dependent because we designed the battery based on the equipment and the techniques that we knew at the time. Each battery is individually wrapped in fiberglass, potted in epoxy resin, and molds over a 24 hour period. And that limits our ability to scale up production to meet higher demand and OEM interest. And another shortcoming of the design is that it's using cables and connectors for making the connections. Now it's fairly straightforward for people to plug the connections into each other, but it leads to a rather unsightly mess of wires, especially when you have quite a large number of these batteries hooked up. And that has limited the interest from some of our business partners who would like to buy the Beligos in volumes, but just don't see it integrating neatly into their finished consumer product. So with the exploding interest in all aspects of light electric vehicles, we decided that now was really the time for us to revisit visit the design of our LIGO battery and make a next generation LIGO that could really address the needs of the masses. We're calling this our LIGO 10X. So the LIGO 10X takes a lot of lessons that we've learned with our original LIGO and solves them. <laughs> so the first and most obvious difference is that it has a different form factor. Rather than being a long slender battery, the pack is more compact in a 343 cell arrangement. Now this updated form factor lets us connectorize the batteries with mating plugs. And this is the most significant improvement for the end user because it means there's no longer a dangling mess of wires connecting each of the batteries in the finished setup. The batteries simply stack in one behind each other and just build up an ever larger battery depending on the size battery pack that you need. So with the updated cell layout, we also had to fully redesign our battery management circuit board that monitors the cells. And we used this opportunity to redesign it around a Bluetooth model to ensure we have wireless connectivity so that people can do diagnostics and troubleshooting on their battery without having to open and probe into the casing. The enclosure design also features an integrated rail in the lid of the battery pack, and that solves another pain point of our original LIGOs, which was how do you mount them on the vehicle. So most of the people traveling with folding e-bikes would simply put the LIGOs in a loose soft bag, and that worked for their needs. But for somebody making a factory scooter or factory e-bike where they want to advertise it as being air travel friendly, they're more interested in a solution where the batteries really click and lock into place. And with this integrated rail, the batteries will have a secure mounting to the of whatever vehicle it's on. So a fully refined battery module like this, we think will have appeal well outside of just our niche aftermarket e-bike space. There's all kinds of industries related to electric scooters, to electric mobility devices, some emerging markets in electric watercraft, even an electric snowcraft, where getting batteries to the customer is a real pain point and a module that you can stack together to build the battery that you need makes a ton of sense. So in order to bring this product to market this year, we're gonna need a huge capital investment like we've never really taken on at Grin. Traditionally, we've been quite slow and methodical about organically growing our products from scratch, but at this point, we're so convinced of the interest in this battery that we wanna go full tilt into tooling up the mold, the enclosure, investing in all of the engineering for the regulatory approvals, the certification, in order to bring this product to market responsibly.